$1,000. Is this a car that you should buy? And what are my favorite features about it? I think we're bad. I am at a five-star resort in Paradise Valley, Arizona, one of my favorite places in the world. And I'm here compliments of GMC because they want me to test out the Hummer, take it off road, do the crab walk, do the Watts to Freedom, but they've got a crazy agenda set up where it's not just riding this thing on the city streets. But here's the Hummer. These are the full production ones. The last time I rode in a Hummer and tested it out, it wasn't quite full production. So I'm gonna show you my experience, give some additional thoughts about the Hummer, but also mostly just show you a good time. Oh, and uh, Zach is here too. He's gonna test out the Hummer. Yeah, it's official. <laughs> Wait, did they put your name Zach or Jerry? Zach, hey, but they spelled it wrong. I'm Z-A-C-K. So oh my. It's all right, Gosh. we'll let it slide, we'll let it slide. Here we are, we made it to the stadium. Fun fact, in 2003, Leslie and I bought our first house right down the street from this, a block away, as they were building this stadium. And now we're here checking out the Hummer. And also, right here on this grass, we can pull up the footage. We filmed a video of what's inside an NFL pylon, or a football pylon. Feels like a dust storm is coming in right now. Anyways, we've got the Hummer here. This one is like the off-road version with a bunch of different hookups. This one has lights right here, a really nice LED light bar. Also has a rack on the top and has a tent that's on the top. And then one really cool thing, this Hummer does have two spare tires right here. It kind of takes up the entire back, but it is nice if you're somebody that is going off-road to have some spare tires. The wind is really blowing right now. It is coming hard. <laughs> We're gonna do the zero to 60, the WTF, or the Watts to Freedom. Definitely one of the strangest names when you hear it, Watts to Freedom, but when you think of WTF, then it makes sense because it's loud. The tires are squealing the whole way there, which they say makes you say WTF, I guess. I don't really say WTF that often, but if I did, this would be a situation I would say to. Zach is right gonna back. put some uh, GoPros out Two GoPros, one looking forward, one looking back. There's a chance that they might get run over. There's Zach at the finish line, doing his work. Look at this guy. That's why I pay him the big bucks. Now, I've shown this in another video before, but it's really cool. You have, it's not something where you're just like driving down the street and you're like, okay, push the button, it's Watts to Freedom time. It is set up for safety reasons. This is what, 9,000 pounds, this truck? It's pretty heavy. You probably don't want to just be doing like a launch mode all the time. Okay. There we go. So we so, gotta push some buttons, right, yep. to get in it? Get in the mode, we'll double press this traction button. My seat starts to vibrate a little bit. And I actually have to, again, acknowledge here that I do want to enter the mode. So I've clicked that to uh, enter. So my left foot's all the way down. My right foot starts to ramp in. You can hear the drive units crank up a little bit here. My seat is vibrating a lot right now, constantly. And I see this little blinking orange telltale over here. When I see that, that means I'm ready to go. Okay, so we're ready to roll. Three, Let's do it. Two, one. Oh, there you go. <laughs> okay, that's good. Right off the line, like the initial split second when you first start, a lot of electric cars like Tesla's you get thrown back in there, your seat really hard. I didn't feel that initially, but what was interesting it was it was after that. It was after we got moving just a little bit, then it started rolling faster and faster and faster, and you could really feel it. So anyway, that is really fun. Okay, three, two, one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Dude, that is nuts. Oh. <laughs> that is crazy. Oh man, some people are gonna get in trouble for messing around with that in neighborhoods. It's just too fun. Good morning, all of the Hummers are out. Today we are heading out to the trailhead and we're gonna go riding in these things. Zach and I are driving partners, everybody has a partner. We're gonna take the only one that has somewhat of a color on it, which all of them are white, but this one has red right here on the little tow hitch and then it has red right here. So yeah, a little fancy, but I think that'll be a nice addition. This does not happen in Arizona very often. First of all, it's raining. Second of all, why are there three windshield wipers? Oh my gosh. 
is that? Are you gonna have three on your Hummer? Um, no, just do it. It's just do. I'm not cool enough. It doesn't rain in Arizona. I went to school here. We lived here for many, many years. And uh, it's, it is kind of cool because you ha this is officially a convertible. This entire top will come off. I'm not sure we're gonna be able to do it today, but I feel like you can hear the rain a little bit stronger because this is not actually glass. It's like a soft plastic. Makes sense if you gotta take it off. It's pretty heavy. We're the first ones to leave. Because usually we're the slowest because we always <laughs> try to film things. And so we're gonna take off. Oh, here we go. It'll, uh, Howdy. Hi. If I could just oh, get you guys' whoa. names real quick. It comes right in there, doesn't it? Oh, they got a little water <laughs> coming out. <laughs> Jeez Louise. <laughs> That's not good. Glad you stopped there. All right, thank Thanks you guys. Thank you. Did you catch all that water coming in? Yeah, that was crazy. That was so much water. Okay, mm -hmm. let's figure out your auto. Okay. Oh my. That's loud. It's really loud. out here to the desert and good news, the rain is gone. It was kind of what I was hoping for. We're about to go on a 45 minute ride up a trail to test the off-road capability of these Hummer EVs. So hopefully get into some hairy stuff. How's that? That was sick. A little sketchy? Straight down, it was awesome. Okay, it's hailing now. <laughs> what is this Freaking weather? Nuts. <laughs> They're bouncing around in here, dude. Whoa! Oh my gosh. This roof is super loud in general when it rains, but now you have hail coming on here. This is not typical Arizona weather and I love it. I think we're stuck. Zach? Yes. You got a little mud on your arm, like right there. Yeah, that was... I'm sure you used to it after changing a baby's diaper all the time. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry to tell you, this is your GoPro. Oh no! It uh, didn't quite survive the glass. <laughs> it's a little, it's a little shattered. And, uh, There's only one minute left. Yeah. Oh! Oh, we ran it over <laughs> with the back tire. Okay, well we got the footage. Yeah. The GoPro. I mean, the screen looks okay, right? The front screen. Yeah, front screen's fine. We can use the battery though. We can pop that into one of our other GoPros this step. Okay, I finally get to drive and we're to our first. We're to our first. We're gonna climb this uh, obstacle here. This is a perfect terrain mode obstacle. Feel free to use either drive or the low setting. All right, we are going to, uh, I get to drive. Face out on the climb, give everyone plenty of room to okay. approach yep. and clear the obstacle before starting the I'm gonna go with my first obstacle right now. <laughs> Zach's gonna film it Heck from yeah. here. All right, we'll get a shot. I'll try not to crash it. All right, Dan is coming up right here. This is about a three foot ledge. Let's see how Dan does. to figure out this entire time how can I get that window down right there I mean look at this I can look right in we have that window right here and I finally figured it out there's a little button I keep pushing this one right here but it's this one watch this there we go it's okay we're going a little faster 36 they told us we're not gonna go faster than 25 I'm sorry I broke the rules it was in a safe place but that is one of my favorite things about this. You have the back that kind of skids out on purpose 
it makes drifting and driving really fast on gravel roads one of the best things about driving in this thing, like I'm stepping on it right now. Oh my God. There is an element of fun with this that you don't get in a lot of other vehicles. I'm not gonna bring my Tesla Model X out here to this dirt road to go rallying it, but this Hummer is actually made for this type of situation. All right, we are done with our ride, which is great. We both went up the mountain, back down the mountain, and now we're back down here in cactus land. Oh my gosh, I almost ran over that cactus. <laughs> I did not even notice that. So this is the 112th one ever made. It's the first edition or edition one is what they call it. And this has the off-road package, which is intense. You have every feature that you could possibly need to go off-road, and it's all for the price of $110,000. I would love to see somebody get a Ford Raptor, come out here to the desert, and test it next to this truck, because my first impressions would be this would win in pretty much every single category. It is designed, it is manufactured for off-roading. But in reality, who needs all of those options? Like, do you need a super truck to be able to go and do all these crazy off-road things? Most people don't. It's a really cool thing to have, but I know where GM was going with this. Before Tesla came out with the Roadster, all of the electric cars were super boring. And Tesla came out and said, you know what? We're gonna make an electric car that is sexy and it doesn't matter if it's electric or gas, people are gonna look at it and say, I wanna drive that. And I think GMC had a similar approach when it came to making the truck. We have a lot of gas-powered truck fans that love off-roading in their gas truck, that will never switch over to an electric anything. Let's go make the biggest and baddest electric super truck ever. And they did it. It is an amphibious vehicle where you can do everything. At the same time, it's incredibly comfortable and you have all the luxuries of the Bose entertainment system. The super cruise on the highway where it's like autopilot for you. So do I think a lot of people are going to buy this specific model that has all of the options? Probably not. I think their higher selling models are going to be the lower cost ones that don't have all of the off-road things. But GMC achieved the goal to convince all of the gas-powered truck-loving people that electric trucks can be cool, they can be functional, and they can kick butt. That's about as dangerous of language as I say. My favorite thing in driving it off-road today was to see how the drivetrain can turn, not just in the front of the truck, but in the back. I thought crab mode was just a gimmick. We saw it in action today. The Hummer in front of us got stuck. They got a little too close to the hill, and when they turned, the back end, turned and it went off the edge and it got stuck in the dirt. So much so that the dirt was all the way up to this right here. They reconfigurated the steering and they turned on crab mode and they slowly and easily crawled right out of that dangerous spot. So yes, crab mode can be an effective thing when you're off-roading. So I'm a believer in the crab mode. The battery is massive and you can charge it incredibly fast. To give you some perspective, my Tesla Model X has a 100 kilowatt hour pack inside of it. I can get around 300 miles range. This battery pack inside of the Hummer is a 200 kilowatt hour battery pack. It is double what my Model X is. The range is not double though because this truck is how heavy, Zach? Nine. 1,226 pounds. So the range on this is around 330 to 340 miles range, but they enabled something really clever with the charging. It actually takes all of the energy and splits it up among the top battery pack and the lower battery pack. Within 10 minutes, you can get 100 miles of range inside of the Hummer. So when you pull up to a gas station, a convenience store, you have enough time to go inside, go to the bathroom, grab some treats and come out and your car gets maybe one of the highest amount of charges out of all of the electric cars that are out there. So overall, I would say I give this truck a rating of two thumbs up. Imagine there's two thumbs right here. I think there's going to be a lot of people that buy this or buy the models that don't have as many options that cost less money that are going to thoroughly enjoy driving this, whether you're on-road or off-road. And so yeah, thank you to GMC for bringing me out right here. And look, I got a cactus on my foot. <laughs> It's a big cactus. Oh my gosh. Get off. Why do I have cactuses all over? You're the cactus expert. The cactus. You went to college for cactus studies. <laughs> oh man. I did go to Arizona State and in order to graduate, they made me take this natural history of Arizona class where I spent 30 or 40 hours out here looking at Seguro cactuses to figure out which side of the Seguro 
the birds drilled holes in. There's a scientific reason behind it. Yeah, so now I told that story to Zach and now I've been the cactus, cactus expert and they seem to find me all over the place. So anyway, Zach, thoughts on the trip? Did you enjoy it? I really liked it. I'm very, very impressed. I mean, I have my own military Humvee that I've turned electric. And so I have a special attachment to the Hummer brand. It was super fun. And uh, Zach has a flight in like one hour. So we should <laughs> probably leave the mountains <laughs> and get out of here. Let's go. <laughs> are these mosquitoes? There's all these bugs on the car. No, I don't think those are mosquitoes. Okay, good. Do not have mosquito spray. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be happy someday when I can see a Hummer that is not white, because that's all I've seen. Ah, cactus on my leg! Don't kneel down in the desert, right next to a cactus. I'm so smart. Um, yeah. I'm Z-A-C-K. 